the borders. President Roque Cabore's whereabouts are currently unknown. His party earlier said he had survived an assassination attempt. Well, Henry Wilkins has this update on the situation in Ouagadougou. Since this morning, there's been a very heavy uh, military presence on the on the streets outside the national broadcaster RTB today. Uh, the troops mutineers had taken over the uh, the building, uh, parked a, 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 an armoured vehicle in the uh, the gateway, and installed a uh, an anti aircraft gun uh, outside the building as well. So, I mean, obviously, this isn't the kind of thing you normally see on a on a Monday morning in. Uh, in Wagadugu, but uh, yeah, compared to yesterday when the mutiny started and there was uh, firing uh, happening at various military bases um, across the city, uh, today we've heard no gunfire uh, at all. So, you know, really the, the military now seem to be confidently in control. NATO has put forces on standby and sent ships and fighter jets to bolster Europe's eastern defenses. The buildup of Russian troops on the border with Ukraine is causing fears of an invasion. U.S. President Joe Biden is due to discuss the tensions with European leaders in the next hour. Russia, though, has remained defiant, denying it plans to invade and accusing the West of fueling hysteria and escalating tensions. At least three people have been killed in the latest protests against military rule in Sudan. Medics say they were shot dead by security forces who fired live rounds and tear gas. And the White House says it's deeply concerned about reports of escalating conflict between Yemen's Houthi rebels and neighboring countries. Earlier, the UAE launched their airstrikes at Houthi hours after intercepting ballistic missiles, fired them by the rebels. Those are the top stories. The stream is next. I'll